Amen. Maybe on up about 6.30 this morning, I felt revival, Brother yeah. Walter. Yeah. All through the day, it's just like I just, David said, Lord, that I may go softly before you. Yeah. Amen. That's how you know you're in revival. Yeah. Amen. We need revival. I need revival. There, our nation needs revival. Yes. And, and you know, there ain't no plan B. There's no substitute. No. We need old time revival. Yeah. Homes need revival. Yeah. Will thou not revive us again, O oh Lord? Lord. Praise God. Oh, I appreciate this time together. That's precious when we can come like this. And yeah. Friends and people that are hungry. And uh, and I appreciate that so much. Man. But but how many would like to say, this is my revival. Oh, yeah. It, it really is. It's, it's, it's my revival. Amen, and when I say it's my revival, I'm not taking yours away from you. Right, right. God's got enough revival for every single one of us. Yeah. If this has to be moved to a a, a football stadium somewhere, then he's got enough for there too. Enough. Praise yeah. God. And appreciate the goodness of the Lord. Uh, tomorrow's a special day, Groundhog Day. And uh, I, I used to have a, uh, a, little, a little groundhog. I called him Joe Boy. We kept him several years. And um, I also had a, a, a cur dog. And that cur dog wanted to kill that groundhog so bad that he couldn't hardly stand it. And uh, but but I wouldn't allow him to kill the groundhog. Yeah. That groundhog knew it after a while, and he'd stand up on his hind feet and pop his teeth at that dog. Man, <laughs> that dog wanted to hurt him so bad. Praise God. But you know the devil don't like it when we come together like this. No, he don't. We may run into this, and he may pop his teeth at you. But last night I got a little bit bold <laughs> during the preaching. Now, I mean, was here to hear that. Yeah. Praise God. Man. So uh, the devil's going to resist. Uh, uh, tomorrow will be a special day. I I guess my, uh, uh, numerically what will be February the 2nd of 22, 2 and 2 and 22, and, and you'll have to hang around again before it lines up like that for what? 11 years and one month and one day till it gets to be 3, 3 and 3 and 3. Man, uh, I mean, it'll be on the other side shouting up and down the streets of glory there. <laughs> Amen. Sister Carol said, I hope I'm not here when that rolls around. <laughs> Praise God. But we appreciate the goodness of the Lord. Let me read some tonight. Appreciate this revival. Amen. Um, it's kind of like him old, uh, him old penny. I guess it's nickel, a quarter. I don't know what they are now, but it used to be a penny. Uh, gumball machines. And you, got, you, you ain't going to get nothing out of it until you put something into it. And I'm not talking about money neither, but you need to put something into this. Uh, it behooves you to pray for revival. Yes, it would. Pray for the revival. And when you pray for the revival, it's liable to happen to you. And we need revival. Right. Amen. If you have your Bibles tonight in the book of Mark, chapter 16, verses 1 through 7. And I appreciate the preacher last night. My brother Tim is a, a preacher of preachers now. I tell you, he, he's, he is a wonderful, he can hold Hold your attention and that the anointing too. Mark 16 and 1, and uh, this this has been on my heart, seemed like throughout the day since this morning. I'd like to share this and will not be before you long. Use wisdom tonight. And when the Sabbath was passed, I'm in Mark 16 and 1. Uh, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome had bought sweet spices, had bought sweet spices, that they might come and anoint him. And very, er, very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came into the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulcher? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering to the sepulcher, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He's not here. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Behold the place where they laid him. Amen. But go your way and tell his disciples and Peter. 
Aren't you glad that's in there? Amen. Praise God. That he goeth before you into Galilee, there shall you see him, as he said unto you. Let's ask God to bless his word, Father. As we seek thy face, God, tonight, we ask, Lord, that you would bless. Breathe upon this thy word, God, we pray. Lord, give it the strength, God, that only you can. That anointing from above, we'll give you the praise and honor and glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Tonight, uh, I'd like to preach just for a few minutes on uh, what about the stone? What about the stone? And uh, as I begin to read this and, and think about our own walk with the Lord, church, uh, they these women, these three women here, of course, we are familiar with Mary Magdalene and the great miracle God cast in the devils out of her, yes. man, and uh, and the other two here, and maybe the mother of James and John, and uh, they they were devoted they were devoted to uh, Jesus Christ and His ministry. They played their part, Amen. And, uh, and so very early that morning after after the Sabbath, praise God was passed, and it was uh, right for them under the law to do what they were getting ready to do. Yes. Now, the Egyptians, they, uh, they embalm. They embalm. Yes. And, uh, you know, to try to hold on to that image or whatever. Uh, but the Jews buried their dead. Right. The Jews buried their dead. Usually within the same day, within the same amount of time, that the time frame that they passed away. And so these women were in waiting here. And as they went uh, uh, to, to anoint him, they were saying among themselves, uh, what about the stone? Yeah, right. What about the stone? Yeah. Praise God. And, uh, but it, it, it didn't deter them. No, right. Stone or no, they knew that they could not move that stone. Right. Right. Yeah, this is a great stone. Yeah. yeah. And, and to tell you the truth, this don't make a lick of sense. Bless him, Lord. Yeah. You can't move the stone. Right. It's not even legal for you to move the stone. Amen. It's unclean if you move the stone. Yeah. Even if you could move the stone. But the Bible said here, they bought spices. Yeah. They, they didn't they didn't brought they bought. Yeah, yeah. It cost them something. Okay. Amen. Yeah. They were carrying the spices. Yeah. It was very early in the morning. Yeah. Amen. And they were concerned that they they had uh, uh, they put something into this. Right. Yeah. It cost them something. Right. Amen. Yeah. It cost these women something for what they're about to do. And as they went, brothers and sisters, they realized in the back of their mind, praise God, uh, I'm, I'm trying to use, uh, 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 you know, human wisdom here. <coughs> Why buy the spices? We saw them put the stone there. Right. We can't get in. Yeah. yeah. The stone's there. Bless you, Lord. If we saw it uh, fall into its slot. It'll be double hard. Right. It'll take double strength yeah. Yeah. to move this stone. Amen. Amen. Right. Praise God. But they went out and with their own money. Yeah. They bought spices. Bless him, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They bought spices. And they went to anoint Jesus that day. Lucy. And as they went, they said, what about the stone? Yeah, come on. What about the stone? Yeah. Praise God. What about this stone? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's illegal. We can't move it. It's illegal. It's against the law to move it. But they went on. Heavy Lord. They went on. Amen. Yeah. What about the stone? Yeah, bless the Lord. You know, sometimes, and I walk with the Lord, and sometimes those that's not saved, you know what they see in front of them? Jesus. They say, there's a stone there. Yeah. How many help me preach this for a minute? Yeah. I can't get to him. Yeah. I really can't get to him. Because you see, there's a great stone in my life. Yeah. There's a great big rock in the road. Yeah. There's a great big stone. Preach, brother. 
And even if I needed to get to Jesus, uh -huh. Amen. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't even do it. No, sir. Amen. Not my own ability, not my own strength. Right, There's no way that I can get to Jesus. Right. Praise God. I see others. I've heard the message, praise God. Yeah. But you see, the preacher don't know. Amen. But there's a great stone up ahead for me. Amen. That I cannot in my own power right. move that stone away. I'd like to get to Jesus. I'd love to get to the Lord. I'd like to be like my neighbor. Amen. I'd like to be like sister so and so. I'd like to join in them songs of Zion. Amen. I'd like to say Lord. Amen. You're my God. You're my everything. But you see brother something you don't know. Amen. Is there's a stone up ahead that I cannot move. Amen. And yet they went on. Right. They went on. Come on boy. Yeah. Amen. This is beyond logic. Yeah. It's beyond logic. Yeah. It's, they bought spices. Yeah. Knowing that there was a stone there. Amen. Praise God. I got praying about this this morning. And I said, Lord. Amen. They, I'm telling you something. I know uh, 1 Corinthians 13 talks about faith, hope, and charity. And it talks about, amen, how fragile some of these are. But charity is, praise God, it suffereth long. Right. Amen. It's not easily reproached. Amen. And in some, and I want to say this right here, praise God, uh, I love the King James Version because, man, it, it, they haven't changed it. Praise God. I have found that, that the change needs to be here, right. not there. Amen. Amen. And to some of the revised versions, it's okay. Can I just put this in here? Amen. Brother Jason, they changed it to love. Yeah. But it's greater than it's a sacrificial love. Yeah. It's charity. Yeah. yeah. Amen. It's bigger than love. Yeah. It's bigger than love. It is. I want to tell you something. I tried to evaluate this. I stretched it out, Brother Jack. I looked at it from the top and I looked at it from the bottom. Amen. And it was not faith that drove them. Bless you, Lord. It was not faith. God. There's not faith. No, brother. They said, what about stone? And still they came. Yeah. yeah. What about stone? Yeah. And still they came to church. Come on. Yeah. Amen. What about the rock up ahead? Yeah. Praise God. What about this and what about that? Yeah. Brother and sister, what about the Lord? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you the thing that drove those women that day is they loved Jesus Christ with all of their heart. And they came. Stone or no stone, they they bought, they purchased, they sacrificed, and they went that morning. Amen. 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 I probably told this before, but it's been a few years back, and uh, and I was over to church early one morning praying. It was not around Easter time or anything like that, Brother Jason. I was just over there, and it was getting, it was pretty early in the morning, and um, I was praying at the altar, and, and just praying, you know what I mean, just praying, just praying, yeah. and um, so I was facing, you know, the altar, at the front of the altar, and uh, just like a, a vision, I saw, I saw three women go by, just, I could see them from here down, if I told this to you before, no. if I did, you're getting ready to hear it again. I'm old enough, praise God, to be repetitious and get by with it. <laughs> and, and I saw him, I saw him go, go by. If I could just see from there down. Yeah. But I could tell, I could tell, brother and sister, they were so sad. I could tell the way they walked. It was like it was so early in the morning I could barely even see. And I wondered about that. And Sister Crystal, I mean, I sat up praying. I thought, my Lord, what in the world was that? Right. I mean, what just happened here? I just saw three women go. I knew there were women I could tell. Yeah. Praise God. As they went by. And I thought, my Lord, this is the strangest thing. This is so strange. And so I went back. I just dismissed it. and went back to praying. And Brother Jason, as I prayed on, I mean, I dismissed that. I wasn't praying about that or anything else. It just, I think, huh, I don't know what that was. I have no idea what that was, Lord. Only thing I know is they were sad, but they went. Yeah. Come on. They were sad. Amen. It's like they'd almost lost something, right. but they were going. Yeah. Man, I prayed on. I prayed a little while, Brother Jack, and I, there, they were going this way. 
But now they weren't sad. And they weren't moving slow. They were moving on. And when I saw them going back that way, I knew who they were. And I knew what they had heard and I knew what they had saw. Amen. Praise God, brother and sister. Hey man, we can look at the stone up ahead and say, I can't go to church. I'll never get to Jesus Christ. Hey man, this rock is too big for me. It could be worse than you think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get us a little deeper here. Me, I'm gonna make it worse. I'm going to make it even worse. Praise God. In Matthew's Gospel, chapter 27 and verse 62. Now the next day that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priest and the Pharisees came together to Pilate. Right. Are you listening to me? Yes. Saying, sir, we remember that that deceiver. That deceiver. We remember that that deceiver. Mary didn't think he was a deceiver. No. At Cana, when she said, whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. Right. right. She didn't think he was a deceiver. Nobody. Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. She didn't think it. Praise, Praise God. God. When he fed the 5,000, they didn't think he was a deceiver. Uh -huh. When he cleansed the leper, he didn't think he was a deceiver. When he opened those blinded eyes, amen, when he raised the dead, amen, they didn't think he was a deceiver. And the night that the Lord saved my heart, amen, and cleansed me, praise God, amen, to this day, I don't believe he is a deceiver. Amen. 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 Either this is the gospel, either this is the truth, amen, or he is a deceiver of all time. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you and I are deceived. Amen. <clears throat> I got too many. I got too much on my plate just now. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Yeah. I can't sort through it. Praise God. Man. Uh, little woman, little girl, had a little girl, woman, husband, alcoholic. That's a big stone. Her feelings is a big stone. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Disappointment is a big stone. Uh -huh. You can get disappointed right in the house of God. Yeah, you can get hurt right in the house of God. Yeah, you can. Is this okay? Yeah. Amen. Man, come home every weekend and spend his paycheck, go home and whip his wife. They hardly had any food to eat. True story. Praise God. Whip his wife, bruise her up, black her eyes. Amen. Hey, go back to work. Good worker. Spend all his money on alcohol. Was a good man. Amen. Cordial kind of guy. Until he started drinking. It's a big stone. Yeah, it is. Who can move that stone? Amen. That's right. Can this deceiver? No, sir. No. Praise God. <laughs> no, ain't no deception here. Praise God. Right. Amen. But my Jesus for, for real. Amen. My Jesus is for real. We sing about it. We shout about it. But brother and sister, I believe he's met with almost every single one of us at one time or another. Yeah. Amen. That man got saved. The man got saved. Gave his life to the Lord. Completely changed that home. Completely changed that home. Praise God. And so it went on for about a month or two. And that they lived in a little town. And he he uh, he gave his little girl some money to go down to the store to pick up some groceries, which was unusual. Most of the time they didn't have no money for groceries. And so she'd gone down there and she overheard two men talking as she was getting ready to check out. She heard two businessmen there in the town talking. And you know what they were talking about? How useless church was and how there really wasn't any such thing as God. Right. Amen. That this simply was a message to deceive people. And that little girl got out of line. <laughs> Pray God. And she went over there. Hey Amen. She got a hold of that man's britchy leg. She pulled. Amen. And he looked down at her. Said, what is it, little girl? She said, if what you say is true, that there really isn't any God and that people can't be saved and there's nothing to church. Said, please don't tell my daddy. Amen. Because since we started going to church and he gave his life to the Lord. Amen. He don't beat mommy no more. And we got food on the table. Amen. Brother and sister, I'm not talking about a deceiver. I'm talking about a ruling king that's coming back to claim his people. Amen. He is no deceiver. Amen. 
Amen. <laughs> and they went to Pilate and they said this deceiver said, Praise God. After, when he was yet alive, after three days, I will rise again. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Woo, glory to God. I mean, believe he's risen tonight. Amen. I love that word indeed. He is risen yeah. indeed. How I many like say that? Praise God. Amen. Put whatever you want to up here at the top. Fill in all the blanks and I'll fill in the bottom. He's all of the above. He's all of the above. He's my resurrection. He's my bread. He's my drink. He's my strength. He's my goal. Praise God. Because brother long life's journey, he's met me at every intersection and pointed me the right way. Amen. 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 Now some things these this little girls, these women didn't know. They knew about the stone. Yeah. Amen. I said I was going to preach short. I'm going to try to keep it condensed here. Yeah. They knew about the stone. How many agree with that? Sure did. They saw it. Yeah. They knew there was a stone there. Yeah. Yet they went and bought. Amen. Heavy Lord. Praise God. And they are coming. Yeah. And what's on their mind is the stone. Right. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I hate to tell you, ladies, but it's worse. You saw the stone, but it got worse after you left. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Boy, that's pulling us down, ain't it? Yeah. It got worse after you left. Because sometimes we see a stone. Praise God. I'm going to preach flat fluted to you tonight. It may be worse than you think. How many still with me? Yeah. Ain't nobody left yet, have you? It may be worse than you know about. That's right. Amen. I'm being ugly, ain't I? Blessing God, right. But my God is greater. Amen. That's right. I don't care how bad it gets. Yes, Amen. I don't care if that stone's the Red Sea. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Amen. I don't care if that stone is the, the muddy Jordan at flood stage. Yeah. I don't care if that stone is Jericho. Yeah. Hey, man, brother and sister, my God is greater. Amen. My God is greater than the biggest stone, praise God, yeah. in our hearts and lives. That's right. He said to Pilate, Lord. Command, therefore, that the sepulcher be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal his body, steal him away. Right. And say unto the people, He is risen from the dead, so the last error shall be worse than the first. Pilate, Pilate, this is not Herod. Amen. This is a governor of Rome. Right. A governor of Rome. Praise God. Amen. Pilate said unto him, Ye have a watch. Praise God. Ye have a watch. Go your way. Make it as sure as you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. Amen. My Lord, I wish this was now getting up here. Praise God. So they went and made the sepulchral sure, sealing the stone, and setting the watch. Now, how many is with me? Yeah. Are you, you ain't recording this, are you? You are? Boy, I got to go careful here. The government got involved. Is this okay, Pastor? I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> the government got involved. Yeah. Amen. Whoo. Yeah. I believe I've seen some of them pull up in a bit. Is that okay, too? Yeah, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> the government got involved. <laughs> the government got involved. Amen. The government got involved. Yes, Amen. The government got involved at the birth of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. 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 Government got involved. Yes, sir. Do I have a right to do this? Is this okay? Amen. Amen. They had to go back to their city, their lineage. According, they went to Bethlehem. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how good God is right here. Amen. Praise God. It was about control. Yeah. It was about control 2,000 years ago. Right. Yeah. Amen. They had to go back. They had to be recorded. Yeah. And they had to pay their tax. Yeah. Praise God. And the government got involved. And it was prophesied. Yeah. It would be that way. <laughs> now, who's in control? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm feeling better than I should right there. Yeah. Now who's in control, big boy? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Right. Now who's in control? How many still want to be a Christian? Yeah. They was Christians before there was ever a United States. There's going to be Christian, praise God, when the Lord comes back. Yeah. Amen. Some of us are going to come with him. Yeah. Amen. Somebody may still be here, but we're all going to be caught up by the power of God, by the power of the resurrection. Amen. Hey, praise God to meet him in the air. Yeah. Now, sisters, I hate to tell you this, but there ain't just a stone there. The government's done got involved. And I'm be, I ain't never been this ugly before, I think, preaching. Praise God. If you don't think I am, God bless your heart, because I really am. The government got involved. Amen. But there's a higher power. Amen. There's a higher power. Yes. There's a higher power than COVID. There's a higher power than Republicans and Democrats. There's a higher power than the Communist Party. Amen. Praise God. I'm glad to be a Christian. I'm glad to be a part of the blood bought Jesus Christ. Saints of God. Amen. There's a higher power. Yes, Praise God. Sisters, I hate to spring this on you. It's worse than what you thought. After you left, the government got involved. And Rome put a seal on this thing. Yeah. Rome put a seal. A few years ago, I actually did as much research as I knew how to do, praise God, to see what Rome ever did about them breaking that seal. That's a declaration of war. They broke a seal. Pilate, amen, not only gave them soldiers. These are not soldiers of Herod. These are not soldiers of the temple. These are Roman soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. To guard this thing. Right. Praise God. And the government was guarding this thing. Happy Lord. Amen. But I'm telling you, there's a higher power yeah. than we've ever seen in this world. There's a higher power, praise God, than any submarine ever flat top. Amen. Ever battleship that ever floated. We've got and served a higher power tonight. A creator of all things. I hate springing on you sisters. It's worse than what you think. Praise God. You know at Exodus chapter 14 and 15 and they were mumbling and they looked in front of them. Here comes Pharaoh. Yeah. Here comes here he comes again. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm warning you tonight. I'm giving you a warning tonight, church. Is this okay? Yeah. You better have made up mine. Amen. Is this okay, preachers? Yeah. You know I'm telling you the truth. Right. I'm too old, praise God, to mess around. I want to see those that are steadfast. Amen. I want to see those that are say, listen, praise God, if it costs me my head, amen, Jesus will see to it. Right. Amen, brother and sister, that some others have already paid. Amen. We are no exempt. We've had it made thus far. I'm telling you up ahead, God will give you strength. Amen. And he told them, as they said, See, we told you to leave us alone down in Egypt. We're missing our cucumbers and onions. Praise God, sound like a good case of indigestion to me. Yeah. Amen. But they, they was thinking about going back, going back, going back. We've got so many people, I guess right now, nationwide, it's been like 50% of the people that have quit going to church. Right. It's had an effect. Praise God. Will you be a casualty? Or will you be like this woman and say, I know there's a stone up ahead. I'm going anyhow. Yeah. I know there's a stone in my heart. I wish I could preach right here. I wish, I, I, the government, Brother Ron, you don't understand. See, I'm in a legal position. I'm in a legal situation. I mean, they were too. They just didn't know about it. They were in a legal situation. Praise God. You don't know it, sister. If you keep going up ahead, there are soldiers there. You get within so many feet of that, they'll pierce you. They will kill you. Amen. They'll first, they'll command you to stop. If you take one more step, it's Katie by the door for you, brother. Amen. Praise God. And not only that, they represent the seal that's on that stone. Now look here. I want to make it simple. In your life, there may be a stone. And it's got a seal on it. 
Yeah. And you may be facing this and you may be facing that. Yeah. And I know some of those things we face take our breath away. It feels like we've been gut shot. Yeah. I wish you'd help me right there. Yeah. You know I'm coming right down where we live. Amen. It hurts. Praise God right where you can't scratch it. And you don't know what you're going to do. Amen. And I'm not trying to prophesy tonight, but I know what God dealt with my heart this morning. And I've been trying to go softly all day long so I could bring this message to somebody here tonight that has a stone. Amen. Up ahead. Praise God. But you know what's so wonderful? Praise God. You're here tonight. You've got the same spirit as these women. Praise God. You come anyway. You come anyway. Amen. You come anyway. <laughs> Glory to God in the house. I'm glad you came anyway. I'm glad you came anyway. Whoever you are tonight, I'm glad you're here. Amen. Because up ahead, amen, when you think you're going to face that stone, I'm telling you, God will be there. Amen. To move that barrier, to move that pain, and let you in. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I got to stop. Praise God. I got to stop. Amen. You know, I've had, I've, uh, what about the giants? Man, you talking about a stone, them things move around. Yeah. Let me tell you something. God never told him about no giants. They went in, had a look, seen, come back, and said, hey, there's giants over there. Yeah. We can't go in. We can't go no further. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Poor old Pastor Moses. Boy, he had a time, didn't he? Yeah. Whew. <laughs> How'd you like to have his job? Praise God. <laughs> Amen. It's the same thing that he told them at the Red Sea. He said, go forward. Go forward. Yeah. I mean, still determined tonight to go forward. Amen. Praise God. Remember Lot's wife. Yeah, Church, praise God. Amen. Amen. I, I wish I had a... I wish I had a bunch of groceries or something to, to hand out tonight. I wish I had a bunch of fruit or something to hand out tonight. That's how I feel about this, this service here tonight. Hey amen. Somebody's here. And hey amen. The devil's been showing you that stone. Hey amen. But what the devil don't want you to see is when you get to where you need to be, God will have already been there. Hey amen. amen. Listen. Hey amen. Don't tell me about no giants. Praise God. Them things belong to God. I didn't put them there and I can't take them away but I've got a God that can roll the stone back not to let Jesus out amen but as a witness to you and I praise God that he is risen indeed amen as they come to the music as they come to the music praise God and tonight if you'll mind the Lord you've, you've been obedient to him up to this point is this okay, Pastor? Yeah. God bless you. Amen. You've been obedient. And tonight, I'm not going to get to show hands, but I feel it. Now, I'm, I'm getting ready to deliver myself. Now, I'm going to be free of this just in a minute. Praise God. But I'm trying to encourage you. These women went anyhow. They bought anyhow. It don't make no sense. I'm telling you, they ain't running on faith. They're running on love. God, How many can see that? Yeah. I sit, I got this thing down. I wrestled it. Hey, man, I tried to put it under the parentheses of, uh, of faith or something. No, they weren't yeah. running on that. Faith was gone. Yeah. You know what they're running on, church? They're running on love. Yeah. How many believe that? Yeah. I'm, not being, I'm not being wishy-washy like a world. They was running on love that morning. Yeah. They came because they loved him. Praise God. And tonight, it's all my heart. I'd like to think that you're here because you love him. Amen. And there's a stone. I feel that stone. Yeah. Amen. I feel it's like I'm weak in my jaws or something tonight. I can feel that stone that you feel. Amen. I, today, as I was praying, at one point I felt like I'd been gut shot. Amen. But well, Jason, I said, somebody there, they're going to come in here. Praise God. I know this may have got involved. I mean, I don't know how to cover all this. I don't have the mentality. Hey, Amen. I'm not to obey the Spirit of God. This has been involved. Brother Ronnie, you don't know how big his stone's gotten. Hey, Amen. Brother and sister, the women went anyway. Amen. They came anyway. Praise God. I don't know whether they slept any that night or not because they knew what they going to do. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on. 
can, can I have just a couple minutes? Yeah, bless you, Lord. Can I have a couple minutes? Oh, yeah. Amen. I've already got her up here. Amen. Had when the birth of Jesus and they went up to Bethlehem meant to be counted to pay their taxes. Is this okay? Bless him, Lord. Praise God. And and they and they came, preachers and, and, and brothers and sisters, and the innkeeper had no room for them. I, I don't usually deal with what ifs, but what if that innkeeper said, you can have my place. Yeah. You can have my cot. Right. Amen. But come on in. You know, that would have been one of the most famous places in all the world today. Oh, yeah. If that had happened. It would be. Sure it would. It, it, may, it may be good, but you probably worship that. How many believe that would be one of the most famous places in all the world? To this is where the birth of our Savior took place. Right here. In this place right here. My goodness. There'd be crowds there 24 hours a day just to come and see. Amen. Praise God. But instead, it didn't turn out that way. They laid him in a manger. We know there was cattle involved and so forth. Praise God. We know the shepherds came. We know the wise men saw the star and all that. Man, and st are you staying with me just a minute? Yeah, come on. You know, she was with child. She was heavy with child. She was heavy with the messenger of this world. You know, when this pastor gets up here and preaches, praise God, could I say, and you not take me wrong, but he's pregnant with the Word of God. He's carrying that message. You preachers need to help me right there. He's got, he's got a burden. Amen. Praise God. And you know, if that innkeeper had said, come on in. Come on in. You can have my place. Come on in. Praise God. That would be one of the most famous places in all the world. And tonight, if you're lost, praise God, and Jesus is dealing with your heart, and you say, look, amen. Pray. Yeah, I talk to people all the time. Won't you come to church? Amen. I don't, I don't have time. You see what they're saying is, I don't have room for him. I don't have room for him. But I'm going to tell you something. If you let that birth take place in your heart and in your life, oh, yeah. this brand new birth, right. praise God. Amen. 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 Hey, he was born into this world. He became like us so we could be born into that world and become like him. Amen. 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 Let me say, I'd like for that birth to take place in my heart. Oh, yeah. Do you have room for him? Yeah. Do you have room for him? Or will you too turn him away? You see, you'll shine as a star. You'll shout with the angels. Hey, man, there ain't never been a place in this world that will be as profitable and valuable and wonderful and lovely as your soul when Jesus is born there. Amen. How many believe that? Amen. How many believe that tonight? Amen. Praise God. As she sings, as she sings. If it's a, can I just have 30 seconds? Amen. I want to give this mic to this pastor. There was somebody here tonight, and I know, I know that I know that I know. A little sister shouting on the front pew several years ago. And all she was doing was sliding back and forth, and she was waving her little hands in there. And she was saying, I know that I know that I know. I know that I know that I know. Praise God. I know that I know that I know. But you talking about a message. Praise God. It went forth that night. How many know that you know that you know that you've been born again? <laughs> Praise God. Somebody's here tonight. And up ahead, it looks like there's a stone. I know that I know that I know. That's all I know. I mean, this is easing away now. Praise God. But here, I'm going to turn this over to this pastor. But if you're here tonight, there's a stone up ahead. Yes. Amen. Don't turn back. Give God a chance to work. Come anyway. <laughs> He said, don't, Pastor, you don't understand. Amen. This, this thing's done got legalized. Praise God. God can handle that. God can do it. Pastor, will you come? If you're here tonight. If you're here tonight. Amen. <laughs> Let's all stand. Let's all stand. Is this okay, preacher? Yes, God bless you, preacher. <laughs>